Hey, I'm Josh Summit, CTO here at DevCon, and this is... I am Maggie Louie, I'm the CEO of DevCon, and uh, we have a hard time always explaining people what we do because ad fraud is a very broad topic, and usually when people talk about ad fraud, they're talking about bot traffic. Um, but as many of you know, there's a lot more to it than that, and so what we thought we would do is rather than explain it, we would just show a few exploits that we were able to do in a very short amount of time just leveraging a couple open source, uh, readily available subscription type um, browser uh, shorteners and, and be able to do a couple, three, three main hacks. Like, so the first thing we did is we spoofed Washington Post um, and then we stole credit card information and then we do a hack that would allow you to download ransomware and then the last one um, to steal your credentials. So. All right, should I show mine first? Yeah, go for okay. it. Okay, all right, I'll show mine first. Uh, I actually sent this to Josh in, in Messenger on Facebook, and you can see it's a bit.ly link for a story about Brexit. It is on the WashingtonPost.com right there. And when we click on that, that takes us to WashingtonPost.com. So here I am now at the Washington Post, and I see down here the Twitter handle. It's their actual Twitter handle. It's the same logo on their Twitter account. I've just spoofed this entire thing, and this is an actual promo that they've offered before. So if you worked at the Washington Post, you would be used to seeing that, that wordage. It would seem totally normal. And I click on the link there, and it takes me to the Washington Post subscribe page. And once I get there, I can click on, that one, okay. click on that offer to get it, and now I'm on the payment page. Uh, for the Washington Post subscriptions, and now I'm going to select my payment type, and now I'm just gonna enter in my credit card information. An absolutely real credit card, just kidding. Fully real. <laughs> and hit subscribe. Now, hit subscribe, and then I'm gonna go, right there, okay, go right here, and I have successfully harvested yeah. your credit card information. Well, we uh, are all transparent to the end user. Yeah, and it took about 15 minutes. Yeah, to build the whole thing using so. existing ad tech solutions that are out there. So. All right, you ready for yours? Okay. Okay, so we thought that was super cool. You know, that was, we could do all this with the existing uh, ad tech technology, all of these, you know, very little customizations just using existing tools. And then we thought, maybe we can do something a little more malicious. Uh, is it vulnerable to anything? So we started looking at it, and this particular service happened to be vulnerable to uh, cross-site scripting as well. So what we've done, or thought would be kind of cool, is we could do a sort of man in the browser type, uh, type of attack, a web shell on the user. So you know, the, the idea here is maybe not everybody's gonna see the offer or wanna click on the offer, but it's a second way to try and exploit the user while we have them. So, Right now, I'll kind of show you my uh, command and control server that exists over here. The first thing I'm gonna to wanna to try and do is uh, see if I can uh, get some malware onto the user's machine. So we pop up a convincing uh, fake flash update. If you click uh, the user's convinced and clicks install, it's gonna download the malware. Um, and then when they run this, we would have full control of the victim's machine. So, but we thought, you know, we don't necessarily need to even stop there. Um, maybe we need to get uh, better access to all of his credentials. So um, let's give them uh, another social engineering attack. And we pop up a, a fake LastPass login. So the minute they, the victim enters their username and password, we then have access to uh, all of their credentials in LastPass as well. So, so. why is this important? <laughs> It's important because there's so, it, this is just to prove our point, which is um, ad tech is ubiquitous and there's a lot of open source stuff. There's stuff that's readily available. In this case, um, we really uh, utilized just a couple of tools. We, we used short link, uh, link short URL shorteners um, that had some ability to do some, some ads and messaging. And from this, we'd be able to generate revenue too. We could, uh, we could add a, um, an AdSense ad tag in there and also display ads. Um, we could also target this um, post that we did on Facebook of this spoof, and we could start, you know, generating a ton of uh, promoted, uh, that link promoted on Facebook and get it in front of people so that they would do engage with one of these three kind of exploits. And it's important because not only as a brand and a publisher, you don't want your brand involved in something like this, 
um, but also as a consumer to know you need to be careful and always look at these links carefully before you're just clicking on things and make sure, and if you aren't certain, um, go to the, to the direct domain uh, before you start to put any kind of personal information in. And if you're a publisher, um, you know, you can, there are services, we provide these, but so do other people that'll allow you to monitor for people iframing your site, um, which can give you some first indicators um, and, and some kind of ad tech security, if not us, somebody, but you know, having these measures in place will also help protect your consumers against these kinds of attacks. Cool. All right. All right, well, thanks guys.